welcome back to First Edition Chats with Nicole. I'm Nicole Boone. Get ready for the engines to roar at Darlington Raceway Labor Day weekend. And this will be Raceway President Kerry Tharp's last race at the track too tough to tame. Kerry joins me now to talk about his retirement at the end of the year. I can't believe it. <laughs> wow. Thanks for joining me. Hey, thanks for having us, Nicole. Uh, I appreciate it. It's Love this new set. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you. Listen, we love you. And what a ride you've had. Two decades that you've had um, accomplished leadership in the sport. Talk about talk about this ride in NASCAR. Well, it's been a fantastic run. Uh, you know, counting my years in college sports, uh, yeah. it's 44 years in sports and entertainment. And, you know, what a blessing it's been to, to be around uh, such great people and uh, the great experiences and, and you know, the eight years I've had at Darlington have gone by very, very quickly. And uh, I love that place. Uh, it's, it's been something that I've always will treasure. And, uh, but it, it's been a great run, but I think it's time for the next chapter. I understand that. Talk about some of your career highlights. Well, in college athletics, uh, certainly I've worked uh, around some great coaches in, in schools. I was at the University of Tennessee, University of Oklahoma, and then 20 years uh, down the road at University of South Carolina. And, and uh, when I came to South Carolina, that, I haven't left. Uh, mm -hmm. In 1985, I came and, and, and then started working for NASCAR in 2005. So I love being around the athletes uh, in, in my college days, but then being around NASCAR, being around all the great champions like Jimmy Johnson, uh, Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, and then having the opportunity to come to Darlington as track mm -hmm. president. I mean, what an honor. And uh, it's just been something that, you know, I've never taken for granted. And uh, I'll always uh, be thankful for those that helped me get here. Do you have some best memories at Darlington? Oh, without a doubt, uh, Nicole. Uh, I think uh, a couple stick out in mind. First of all, my first race there in 2016, I really didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> uh, after the race, my wife asked me, how did it go? I said, well, I don't know if I could tell you. It was a whirlwind. <laughs> uh, but then in, in 220, when the pandemic struck, and, and and sport the sports world uh, stopped just like everything else sure. did, and so, you know, we had the opportunity to come back and and, and bring live sports yeah. back to this country in May of 220, and I'll never forget that. That was uh, uh, something, uh, uh, an experience of a lifetime, and being able to do that uh, certainly was, uh, I think, instrumental in us getting our second race date back. So those are some of the highlights that uh, I'll I'll carry with me forever. You know, Darlington one of the oldest tracks there is in the circuit. It has sustained itself through the history of the sport when the sports changed a lot over the years. You know, it got so big commercialized, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, it's a foundational track. Talk about what makes Darlington so special. I love that track. Well, Nicole, you're exactly right. Darlington has withstood the test of time. Yes. Opened in 1950. Uh, it's the track too tough to yeah. tame. We got that great brand. Uh, a lot of mystique tradition, history. I like to tell people that Darlington is like the Wrigley Field of NASCAR. Yeah. Might not be the fanciest place or, uh, you know, the most modern, but I tell you what, the cool factor is off the charts at, at Darlington. And so I think we've been able to sustain that uh, over the years. And this will be the 74th running of the Cookout Southern 500. That's a long time. So it'll be exciting for you to go out on top like this. I look, forward to, I look forward to it. And, and you know, as, I, as we were chatting earlier, you're not sure when the right time is. I think this is, and I feel like things are in good, good, good shape there at Darlington. And I feel like that uh, this is the time to go, and why not go when you're out on top? Absolutely. What are you going to do first when you <laughs> retire? Well, you know, I haven't really thought yet. I'm, I'm sure my <laughs> wife Debbie has some things for me to do, but uh, I'll start thinking about you know what those plans might be sure. once the race has, has got behind us. But. We love the state of South Carolina. I love living in the Darlington area. And so I'm sure I'll find something to do uh, in 224 that occupies my time. Fantastic. Thank you for being here. I'll see you at the race. Can't wait, Nicole. Thank you. Absolutely. We'll be right back, folks.